let's talk about cutting conditions actually relative motion is required between the tool and the work to perform a machining operation the primary motion is accomplished at a certain cutting speed v in addition the tool must be moved laterally across the work this is a much slower motion called the feed f the remaining dimension of the cut is the penetration of the cutting tool below the original work surface called the depth of cut and is denoted by t collectively speed feed and depth of cut are called the cutting conditions they form the three dimensions of the machining process and for sorting operations they can be used to calculate the material removal rate for the process and here rmr equal bfd and here rmr means material removal rate v is a cutting speed f is a fit and d is depth of cut and there is a figure so this is our work and this is the cutting tool and this is the uh, direction of rotation of the arcs uh, our work and it is rotating in anti clockwise direction and this uh, cutting tool is moving from this direction this side to this side and because of this one so uh, the upper surface of this material has been removed and we have got this depth this is the new surface of the material now let's talk about the units and typical units used for cutting speed are millimeter second millimeter per second or feet per minute feed in turning is expressed in millimeter per revolution or inch per revolution and depth of cut is expressed in millimeter or inch in other machining condition operations interpretations of the cutting conditions may differ for example in a drilling operation depth is interpreted as the depth of the drilled hole machining operation usually divide into two categories distinguished by purpose and cutting conditions roughing cuts and finishing cuts roughing cuts are used to remove large amounts of material from the starting work part as rapidly as possible in order to produce a shape close to the desired form but leaving some material on the piece for a subsequent finishing operations finishing cuts are used to complete the part and achieve the final dimensions tolerances and surface finish in production machining jobs one or more roughing cuts are usually performed on the work followed by one or two finishing cuts roughing conditions or roughing operations are performed at high feeds and depths feeds of 0.4 to 1.25 mm per revolution that is 0.015 to 0.050 inch per revolution and depths of 2.5 to 20 mm or 1 inch to 0.75 0.1 to 0.75 inch per revolution a typical finishing operations are carried out at low feeds and depths feeds of 0.1 to 5 to 0.4 mm that is 0.005 to 0.015 inch per revolution and depths of 0.75 to 2 mm that is 0.030 to 0.075 inch per revolution or in only inch a typical cutting speeds are lower in roughing than in finishing a cutting fluid is often applied to the machining operation to cool and lubricate the cutting tool determining whether a cutting fluid should be used and if so choosing the proper cutting fluid is usually included within the scope of cutting conditions given the work material and tooling the selection of these conditions 
are very influential and in determining the success of a machining operation. And thank you for being with me.